off on off on Hello everyone, this is Kangar, welcome back to Skyrim VR Mods. I know it's been a while, I have not abandoned the channel, I was just busy with real life stuff and today I'm going to bring you a real, <laughs> real upgrade for Skyrim VR and that is deep learning super sampling is now a part of Skyrim. The new upscaler mod was created by Pure Dark and it's a complete replacement of the VR performance toolkit. It has fixed foveated rendering, it has FSR and DLSS and DLAA included. To install it you just need to update the VR address library, you need SKSE and then you need to install the base plugin and download the specific DLL files for your preferred upscaler put them in there and then also install the Skyrim VR adaptation. For the base plugin I think your mod organizer will complain that it looks broken but you can just ignore that it's perfectly fine and that's it. You can also install it manually of course but for me it works fine with MO2. If you want to support the author then you can check out the Kofi link that I will put below the video where you can buy Pure Dark a coffee. So, in order to show you the power of this mod, have a look at the performance overlay that you can see here, which is coming from Virtual Desktop and the most important part for you is the game frame time here, the 14 millisecond in orange right now, and the frame rate to the left is 70 fps. So if you install the mod, the default setting is deep learning super sampling with quality settings. So if you want to change that, you can use the end key and you will get this overlay here. Importantly, if you're also using reshade, the end key will also switch off your reshade um, uh, effects in game. So if, as long as you have this open, you will not see reshade effects. So you have to close it again with end and then your effects will be back. Okay, so we are back in the game and here you can see that with DLSS enabled, I can have the game at a perfectly playable 11 milliseconds frame time with 88 uh, frames per second. So here in the quality settings you can even switch to performance if you need more performance. Then you will have in game a little bit of extra performance again, but the change is not so big as the general usage of DLSS and you will also sacrifice some more visual quality. Speaking of visual quality, I will just briefly click on and off the DLS settings so you can see both the performance and the visual change. Off. On. Off. On. You can see that the image is actually more smooth with DLSS enabled than it is without because the anti-aliasing part of DLSS is also part of this mod, obviously. You can also see that the image gets a little bit blurrier, um, but it's not so bad, actually. So this trade-off is definitely worth it if you are just above the threshold of the 11 milliseconds. Another thing to check out is the fixed foveated scale here, which means that there is a rectangle in the center of your view that is upscaled, and the exterior is not upscaled. So you can see that the image is getting more blurry in the, in the exterior area than in the inside. And you can change the size of this rectangle here with this. And with the offset, especially in the x-axis, you can move this, uh, this rectangle left and right so that they are perfectly overlaid for your head-mounted display. Now here in the upscale type, you can switch the different kinds of upscale that is uh, used in this rectangle in the middle. So by default it's DLSS, but you can also use FSR, which is a little bit less efficient, so it gives you a little bit less of a performance increase, but it's otherwise pretty much comparable to DLSS. And DLAA, my absolute favorite. DLAA just gives you the perfectly smooth image. If you have a look here, for example, at the sunlight there, at the tree crowns up there, at the, uh, the bush here and the grass there, Everything is slightly shimmering, even if I keep my head still. But if I switch on DLAA, it's just completely gone. There is no shimmer anymore at all. 
perfectly smooth image. You probably cannot see that because it's only 30 FPS, uh, the video, but the effect is quite stunning in the head-mounted display. And the last feature here is the fixed foveated rendering, which is the same as VR Performance Toolkit has it, and uh, here you can see in the top left corner, for example, you can see the rings where the outer part, the periphery, is rendered at a lower resolution than the inside and uh, that just gives you a nice little performance boost. And if you see these annoying rings inside the game then uh, you can just increase this radius until it's fine and it doesn't annoy you anymore. So one last note from my side. Without an ENV the effect was much smaller. So without an ENV I was already at 12 milliseconds of render time and DLSS only reduced it again to 11. But with an ENB, I came from 14 milliseconds and I'm now also at 11. So the best thing about this DLSS mod is that it maybe enables you to use an ENB which you couldn't before because the effect is much stronger if you're using an ENB than if you are not. And if you really want the perfect image, then you should definitely check out the LAA. Alright, that was it for today. I hope you liked the video, I hope you liked the mod. If you use the mod, Give it an endorsement if you download it on the Nexus and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay informed about such kind of new mod developments. Bye!